and blood from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. Open your hands, open your hearts to love, and enjoy uh, Cahill Gabran, truly uh, as much of a gospel writer as me or any other gospel writer that has ever written uh, truth of love. So welcome and love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince thereof. This is called Anna, the mother of Jesus, about the birth of, of Christ, Isa Yeshua Jesus. Jesus, the son of my daughter, was born here in Nazareth, said Anna, the mother of Mary. And he was born in the month of January. And the night that he was born, we were visited by men from the east. They were Persians who came to Estralon with the caravans of the Midianites on their way as they were on their way to Egypt. And because they didn't find room in the inn, they sought shelter in our house, she said. And I welcomed them, and I said, My daughter has given birth to a son this night. Surely you will forgive me if I don't serve you as a behold who's a hostess. And then they thanked me for giving them shelter, she said. And after they had supped, they said unto her, We would like to see the newborn. And now the son of Mary was beautiful to behold, the little Lord Jesus, and she too was most comely and radiant with the glory of love all about her. And when the Parisians beheld Mary and her babe, they took gold and silver from their bags of myrrh and frankincense, and they laid them all at the feet of that blessed child. And then they fell down and prayed in a strange tongue which they did not even understand. And when I led them to the bedchamber prepared for them, they walked as if they were in utter awe at what they had seen. And when morning was come, they finally left us, and then they followed the road of uh, Egypt, and the wise men did go. And But at parting, those wise men said unto, unto me, she said, the child is not but a day old, and yet, in spite of that, uh, we, we have seen the light of our God in his eyes and the smile of our God upon his mouth. And so they said, we bid that you protect this little one uh, so that he might all protect you all. And so saying, after that, they mounted their camels, the three wise men, and she said, we saw them no more. Now Mary seemed uh, not so much joyous uh, in her firstborn as full of complete wonder and total surprise. And she would look upon her babe uh, and then turn her face to the window and gaze far away into the sky as if she were seeing visions from heaven. And there were valleys then between her heart and, uh, and mine, said uh, the mother. And then the child grew in this, in the body and in the spirit. And Christ was different from all the other children. He was a little aloof and hard to govern at times. And I could not lay my hand upon him because he was doing nothing wrong. But he was beloved by everyone in Nazareth. And I knew, uh, I knew why in my heart. Oftentimes, he would take our food to give to a passerby, uh, and he would give other children the sweet meat I had given him before he had even tasted it with his own mouth. And he just so loved to give of love. And he would climb the trees of my orchard to get the sweetest fruit, but never to eat for himself. He would race uh, with the other boys, and sometimes, because he was swifter of foot, uh, he would delay so that they might pass and stay air so, uh, so that he could reach it. And sometimes when I led him to bed, yeah, he would say, Tell my mother and others that only my body will sleep. My mind will be with them and my heart until their mind come to my morning. 
and many other wondrous words uh, he then said, but he was just a boy, but I am too old to remember some of it, she exclaimed. Now they tell me I shall see him no more, but how shall I believe what they say, she said. I still, all these years later, I still hear his laughter, and I hear the sound of his running uh, about my house, and whenever I kiss the cheek of my daughter, his fragrance returns to my heart, and his body seems to fill my arms as his love fills my heart. But it is not passing strange that my daughter does not speak of her firstborn to me. Sometimes it seems that my longing for him is greater than hers. She stands as firm before the day as if she were a bra brazen uh, image bronze, while my heart melts and runs into streams. And then she said, perhaps she knows what I do not know. Would I wish that she would also tell me. <laughs> and uh, come on back to the next chapter. Amen.